everybody. It's Michelle. And I just want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. This morning, I am making an appetizer to take to my best friend's house for Christmas. I always spend Christmas with her family. It's just, it's become a tradition with us. What I have in this pot is going to be called Polish Mistakes. Do not ask me where the name come from. I have no idea. I don't even know if it's a Polish recipe or not. But in here I have one pound of sausage. My recipe calls for hot, but most of us don't care for the spicy stuff around here. So I've just got one pound of mild sausage, one pound of ground beef, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of oregano, and one teaspoon of garlic. And I have browned all that up. And now I'm getting ready to add a pound of Velveeta. And I've kind of tried to chunk it up so it'll melt just a little bit easier. I'm just going to throw it all in and then I'll come back and separate it as it's melting. Which, and I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. At least it better be heating. Yes, it's heating good. I have a gas stove and oven, and sometimes the oven wants to be a little stubborn on startup. That's just the joys of having an old stove. She's starting to melt a little. We'll turn it up just a hair. My recipe also calls for cocktail rye. Now, I personally cannot even stand the smell of rye bread. So, I cheat and I use pumpernickel. And in case nobody has seen what cocktail bread looks like, it is this little bitty bread that you get at the grocery store and they have all different flavors just like in your regular bread section but this I find over at my local Ingles near the dairy section where they have like all the fancy cheeses and stuff so a lot of times you're gonna find it where they have where they make the salads and the bakery and the breads and stuff like that so Oh yeah, that cheese is melting good. And it just looks like a big gloppy mess. It really does, but it is so yummy. had these in years and last year I decided I wanted something different for Christmas and so I thought you know I'm gonna dig through my mom's old recipes that she gave us and find the recipe for this and it was a hit so needless to say I'm making it again this year along with my cranberry salad that I showed in an earlier video And then I'll be taking those cookies I made the other day out there as well for the one grandson. And I've got a video on that, the chocolate no-bake cookies. Okay, that is good and melted. Now I need to grab a tablespoon. I'm going to slide that back you can see here. Okay. And then we're just going to take big old tablespoons full and just put right on top. Ooh, there's a piece of cheese that hadn't melted yet. Get back in the pan. 
And we'll just put that right on top of each piece of bread. And then we'll bake them for 15 minutes at 375 degrees. Now I will probably end up with more in here than what I have bread, so I'll go back and add extra to any that may need it. But that's all there is to making Polish mistakes, and they are so good, so simple, and just one of the best appetizers for a party, for a get-together, or if you just want a snack for your Super Bowl party or whatever. It is well worth making. And my recipe actually calls for a half a pound of ground beef. I use an entire pound because we're meat eaters around here. And I figure with all that extra cheese, it needs the extra meat. So that's all there is to this. So I hope that you will give this a try. And I hope that everyone has a very, very Merry Christmas. And I will see you back on another day. Have a good one. Bye.